Okay, we're gonna do a little documentation of the Coffee Coles Montmorency facility. So we'll go through the steps of what we're doing. Over here we have uh, our super sacks of uh, coffee from S&D in North Carolina. We're getting close to being done processing, so that's all the sacks that we've done. So we take those with buckets and we put them over here in our furnace. So on the left we have the input hopper. We also have a uh, gear motor back here driving our auger on the inside of the furnace. We're running at four and a half hertz right now. Have a little indicator down here to show us uh, how much thrust load is on the motor. Have a dump valve on the bottom of the hopper that we can uh, get the grounds out if we need to. Put them up there. We have our furnace all covered in fiberglass insulation. Here we have our electrical control station. So we have a uh, a controller here that monitors the temperature and cycles the uh, relays on and off. Relays are burnt out by now, so we're just uh, operating on the last one. Uh, here we have a VFD controlling our motor, four and a half hertz right now, and then we have a uh, thermocouple reader with a selector switch, so we can um, determine. Or we have six thermocouples inside, and we can monitor each one of those. And let's see, going down to the end of the furnace, we have our combustion chamber with our uh, gauge plates that we can control the air inlet. Fan blowing air in. Got some uh, shields up above, keep it from uh, melting the electrical wires. And then we have our uh, gas exhaust system going out through the roof. We have fans on the roof pulling the exhaust out. Over here we have our dryer, which isn't currently running, but those uh, spin around. Um, grounds go in that barrel, get augered through as it runs, and uh, comes out the other end dried. And back to the furnace. Here we have our output. Have a a gate valve there so we can uh, close off the furnace if we need to and then a coupler that uh, so we can uh, decouple this barrel which is our output to the furnace so after the grounds come off the furnace they come over here to our drum cooler we have a little motor can't really see it we have a motor and a wheel driving the barrel around, pumping water on it to keep it cool. Water drains out. We keep our drinks there to keep them cool. After the grounds are off the furnace and cool, then we come over here to our mixer. So we use this tank to spray in the secret binder ingredient and then motor turns on and we uh, mix the grounds up. After they're mixed, they're hot again so it comes back to the cooler. Same thing. And then they come to the briquetter, which is what David's doing. Say hi David. So we put the grounds in the hopper here. They uh, go into the tray, get divvied up into the little gaps. So they come out two by two, and then we stack them up on uh, on trays. Once they're on the trays, then we get them onto this rack. And then from there, we go over to our oven, which I won't open because they're uh, curing inside. And so we... Uh, Right now we're running, uh, we try to keep it under 250 to make sure that they don't catch on fire. And 
so there's six trays in there at a time. After we're done there, we bring all the, the trays over to our bagging station, which uh, isn't really operating right now, but we get about 30 bags per oven batch. We bring them over and we have a, a jig to uh, cut off the bag tops for the liner bags. And then we have our staple rig. And then from there we load them up into trash bags, big boxes. And we uh, haul them into the dry room, keep the humidity out. So uh, that's the adventure that Coffee Ground's taking this facility.